hello everybody and welcome back to my channel so today i filmed this glittery fairy rainbow fairy i don't know what i'm gonna call it yet halloween look um i had the wings on but i took them off they were pretty uncomfortable these wings right here i got all of this stuff except for this and the wand um these like little gems and this wand uh everything else was from walmart so i got this from walmart um i got the wings from walmart i got the lashes from walmart the wand i got from amazon and then these um little like gems these chunky gems i got from glamify me uh the store they have like their own little shop in modesto at the modesto mall so um i got these there but i kind of wanted to do um like a fairy so i was feeling fairy vibes when i seen these clippings and the wings and i was like that's the easy look right there in itself so i figured why not do a fairy it'll be fun um i did film this video last week and i didn't like how it came out like at all so if you've been wondering why it's been taking me so long to upload another halloween video it's because i actually had already filmed this look last week but because i didn't like how it came out i didn't like how my hair came out my hair is like you guys know my hair is so long and i had envisioned like 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 you know like little buns like at the bottom but my hair is so long that they just kept like falling out and it was frustrating so i said you know what I'm gonna just refilm it um, and just do like my hair down uh, waved with the clip-ins because I felt like it looked cuter anyway so that's what I ended up doing and then the eyeshadow that I did in my last video I wasn't feeling that either um, I don't know why but I just kind of like had everything and set everything up and sat down and then I was like wait what am I gonna do for my eye like I had no plan so I ended up not even liking the way that my eyeshadow had came out so this time I kind of drew inspiration from the wings the wings have like you know like a rainbowy kind of look to it so I said I'll just copy that and do the same thing on my eye so happy with the way that it came out I love love the way the eyeshadow came out um, and then I just felt like I was never gonna use these gems so I was like why don't I use them for my fairy look so I'm really happy with the way this came out and the way it came together these lashes are not easy to put on whatsoever so if you do go to Walmart and you end up buying these lashes beware because they were very hard to put on they were not easy to put on at all but that's enough chit chat so let's go ahead and just jump right into the video so if you want to see how I got this glittery rainbow fairy then please keep watching alrighty first thing I'm gonna do is pop open a can of sugar-free Red Bull just to get me going then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is dance to my favorite playlist and I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair back with this cat headband that I got from Amazon just so I can get my hair on my face then I'm going to go in with priming my skin. I'm going to use this Smashbox Photo Finish Minimize Pores. Uh, this primer works pretty well, actually. I, I like it. Um, it's just, it's not for oily skin. So if you have oily skin, I would recommend going in with another primer that you can use for oily skin. Just because my makeup kind of slides off with this, but it does minimize my pores. And then to control my oiliness, I'm going to go in with this Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. Um, this controls all of my oiliness. And you can actually use this over your foundation once it's set. And I'm going to use my favorite foundation, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. And I'm in the shade Ivory Beige. That's 3 and 1. And I'm just going to put that all over my face. And I'm going to go ahead and do brows off camera just to save some time. Then I'm going to go in with this Tarte Shape Tape. And I'm going to prime my lids with this. This is in the shade light medium. I've been liking using this instead of using just like a regular eye primer. Um, it creases just a little bit, but I mean, it's fine with me. Uh, but I, I like it better than using an eye primer. I've been, you know, you guys know I've been trying to find an eye primer. So using this on its own just on my lids has been helping a lot. Thank you. 
all right and these are the two palettes i'm going to be using i'm going to be using the mini controversy palette from jeffree star and the zulu by juvia's place i'm going to start off with the mini controversy palette i'm going to go in with this color called cry on my couch and i'm just going to put that all over my lid just so that way we can put like a base color down um so that way the other colors have something to blend over and it's just a little bit easier First, I'm going to take this purple shade from the Zulu palette and I'm going to pack that in the inner corner of my eye. Uh, I'm just packing, packing, packing first and then I start to blend it out. And I'm only keeping this in the inner corner of my eye. I'm not like bringing it out any further than that. Next shade I'm going to take is this color Cancelled from the Mini Controversy palette. And I'm going to pack that and blend it out next to that purple color. Um, and then you'll see that I'm going to be going in with the color, going back in with the previous color, and then going back in with the next color, just so that way everything is like nice and blended. Next, I'm going to take this yellow shade from the Zulu palette and I'm just going to put that behind the blue shade and just pack that in there. And then you'll see that I go back in with the blue color just to deepen it up a little bit. And then I go back in with the yellow just to make sure that everything is blended and bright. Next, I'm going to take this pink color from the palette and then I'm going to put that on the outer corner the very end what i end up doing is i end up using this like long comb um like little tube so that way i have something to wing out the pink color and then i just wing out um that pink at the end just so that way it shows a little bit more because i was kind of running out of room on my lid Now I'm going to go ahead and take this Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just going to go ahead and conceal under my eyes to get rid of all of that fallout that I had under there. And then to set that, I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Powder and set that. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of those colors that I used and I'm just going to follow the same steps but I'm going to do that under my eyes and um, just under my waterline so that way I have the same rainbow effect on the bottom and just kind of smoke it out just a little bit. Um, not too much but I just follow the same steps and use the same colors. And right here what I'm doing is I'm using the cry on my couch color from the mini controversy palette and just cleaning up the purple on one of my eyes because it was a little out of control. And if you haven't tried this drink from Ikea, you should definitely try it because it tastes amazing. Next, I'm going to go in with this Park Ave Princess palette, which is my favorite palette. You already know I'm going to go in with the color Princess Cut and just contour my face. Then I'm going to go ahead and go in with the same Laura Mercier powder and just clean up under the contour on both sides of my cheeks. And then I'm going to clean up the sides of my nose so that way I can give it like an effect that I'm doing a contour on my nose. And I'm trying to, you know, be cool, but I'm not. <laughs> and just going to go ahead and get rid of all of that excess powder. Next, I'm going to use this Morphe blush palette and I'm going to go in with the color Goals. And I'm going to put that more like toward the apples of my cheek. I really wanted this color, this like blush color to be very pronounced. So I built it up 
Um, it took me a little bit of time, but I didn't want it to be too much, but I did want it to be very, like, known that I was wearing blush because I'm a fairy, so they wear blush. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay setting powder and just, um, it's not setting powder, setting spray, and I'm going to set my face, and then I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild palette. I'm going to use the color Purple Horseshoe and Blue Moon and put that in the areas where I normally highlight. Now I'm going to take this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara that I got for my birthday last month and I'm just going to go ahead and coat my lashes. Now I'm going to use these face gems that I got from the Glamify Me shop and I'm just going to go ahead and put them on my face. I used them last time when I filmed and it kind of uh, like dulled the self-adhesive so I went in with um, eyelash glue and just like outlined where I was going to place them and then placed them on top of the eyelash glue so that way they would stick. And this is not as easy as it looks with nails. And I just finished my face off camera. Now I'm going to go ahead and align my lips. I'm going to use the color Mauve and NYX lip liner and line them. Then I'm going to go in with this color called Ryland from Jeffree Star and the Shane Dawson collection and put that on my lips. I thought this would be like a really good color for like fairies. Well, when I look at it, it looks like a fairy color. And then these lashes right here, oh my god, these are the lashes that I was talking about and telling you guys was so hard for me to do. I was using my tweezers and I would place them on my lash line and then release the tweezer and the lash would be stuck to my tweezer. It was very frustrating to do, but I was able to get it done. Um, but yeah, if you do get these lashes from Walmart, just know they are very, very sticky. Now I'm going to go in with the Benefit Roller Lash and I'm just going to go ahead and coat the bottom um, of my lashes. Right, and I'm going to go ahead and take my hair out and I got these butterfly clips from Walmart. I think they were like maybe like $3, $4 and put those in my hair got some wings and then this wand i got from amazon and that is the completed look you guys so this is like a very simple look um if you have like a last minute party to go to and you have nothing to do i definitely believe that you could do a fairy look like run to the store find those old school butterfly clips put them in your hair you can find wings anywhere and i'm sure you could find a wand somewhere and voila this is the completed look so i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel comment down below other videos you would like to see and like this video give it a huge thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one bye